How about Mars? The Outlook, September 22, 1926 To the layman, it is interesting to note that many modern astronomers are reverting toward the early position of Percival Lowell concerning Mars as the abode of life. Recent research has pretty well proved that even if there is no animal life on Mars, there is probably something resembling vegetable life. The temperatures have been experimentally determined with marvelously sensitive apparatus, and even by zones. The Martian nights are frigid, yet it appears that the days in the temperate zones are something like autumn days on Earth. There is much less oxygen, yet there is enough to support life. The canals unfortunate mistranslation of their Italian discoverer's original word, canali, channels, have been photographed, but their artificiality has not yet been established. Mars, then, may support life, but not proved is still the necessary verdict of the scientist concerning this question. Professor Russell was careful to point out that many of the stars may have planets which would, however, be hopelessly invisible with the greatest conceivable telescope. In fact, the probability, mathematically expressed, that many of them have these attendants is strong. But this is, of course, mere speculation.